In this video, I'm going to show a simple example of programming uh, the same part on multiple sides of a tombstone using the Esprit Tombstone Manager. Here we have a horizontal machine uh, already with the part in it and programmed. So we can start up the simulation here. You can see that I have a part programmed in our Esprit file. See, we've got some face roughing, uh, some other miscellaneous operations. We'll let this run for just a moment so you can kind of give, get an idea of the operations on this part. Okay, so it goes on to continue the rest of the programming on this part. Uh, if we stop our simulation, we can see uh, here in Esprit we've got one part, um, all of the operations uh, to program this one part. We've ran our simulation to prove out that uh, the programming on this one part, on this one face of the tombstone is uh, to our satisfaction. So now let's go to the tombstone manager and we'll set up our other faces of the part. Tell the tombstone manager how many sides we ha have on our tombstone, how many uh, different part orientations we have, and we can see that we've got the four different sides here. So we can go in here and we can set up our work coordinate values for each side, okay. and we'll only, we only have uh, one part on this first side. On the second side, we have only one part and that will be uh, G54P2 and we'll update those values and we can see on side one with our original part we just put in the information for the number of parts and the uh, standard work coordinate. The shift values will, would be if you had multiple parts on each side you could have one part for example here on side two at 90 degrees we have one part and we could actually shift that in the X, Y, or Z location based on our fixture and our tombstone setup. In this case, we're just going to have one part on all four sides. And so we'll come to our third side and we have uh, one part and it's going to be G54 P3 uh, and we'll update those values. On this side, we also have one part and we'll make that P4 and we'll update those values. So we can see where for each individual part we can set up the shift to the location of the part on its specific face of the tombstone, um, how to copy the uh, work coordinate and from the original part to each side correspondingly to its location, and as well as modify the uh, work coordinate uh, values, both the uh, primary and secondary work coordinate values. Uh, in this window we have the uh, box showing any fixturings we may have set up in our machine setup that would rotate with the part. Uh, this is a simple setup but if we had uh, clamps or fixturing on the side of the part we could select those in our checkbox here and it would be copied with each individual part. Here this fixture is just the tombstone so we don't need to copy that. So we'll just select create parts. You can see a spree is going through and it's actually making copies of our part and our work planes and our work coordinates. Alright, once that's done we can just close the uh, tombstone manager and we can see here's our first part. We come down here and we can see where the face roughing starts for the second part. And the tombstone manager just copies the, the operations. If we go to our features manager we can see uh, G54.2P2, we can see how it's modified our work uh, coordinates for each individual part. Okay, now let's organize these operations. So let's um, select all of our operations and we'll come down to uh, the Esprit's advanced sorting. In this particular case, we'll do something uh, simple for sorting. We'll sort by tool number since my tools are actually running on each side in the order that I want to run them. We'll just do it in ascending sort and then we'll sort by work coordinate number. So we simply select apply. And the spree is now sorting based on our sort criteria. So once we exit out of this we can come up here and we can see 
Up here we've got one, two, three, four face roughings on each side, and then the face rough of the sides, and then similar sorting for each of the individual tools. So if we run our simulation now at this point, we can see that Esprit is actually running things in the order of uh, optimizing for the tombstone. Let's uh, speed this up slightly here a little bit so we can watch these tool paths progress around the tombstone. So see now we're getting our indexing around our sides. based on our sort criteria uh, and everything is a copy of the original. Now at this point we can simply um, after we run our simulation and check everything we simply create our um, NC code. In this particular case I'm using a, um, a simple example of a, um, uh, a post that will output the uh, main program. You see here, here's my uh, part, here's my main program, and it's calling up the subroutines or the subprograms for each individual operation. If we go to the subprogramming, you can see 9001 is the face rough, 9002 the face rough sides, and then the rest of our subroutines for the rest of our operations. And the rest of our code calling up the uh, sub programs for each of their operations. So that's how you use the, um, the Tombstone Manager. Uh, one of the nice features of the Tombstone Manager, if you have something set up incorrectly or you just simply want to readjust how you do things, you can make the changes in the uh, Tombstone Manager and rerun it. Or you can actually completely undo what the Tombstone Manager did and save your current settings. So go back and make some changes to your particular part that you want and then simply rerun the Tombstone Manager with your settings and rerun the advanced sort and everything is updated throughout the program. And that is how easy it is to do multi-sided Tombstone machining in a spree.